Good afternoon, everybody. Michelle Humes here, lead beauty guide with Limelight by Alcone. And today I wanted to talk about branding. Why is it important to brand yourself? I don't mean branding your business, your products, uh, spamming and flooding uh, social media sites with everything you have to offer. I mean branding you, you, you as an individual person. Everybody is unique in their own way. There's nobody out there like you and it's very important to get your people, the people that are watching you and following you and seeing you post on Facebook or Instagram or wherever, whatever you use, Twitter, doesn't matter. Everybody wants to see who you are and this is what happens. When you figure out yourself who you are, which I know it's, it's hard sometimes for um, people to really dig deep, dig really deep and figure out what are you about? What do you love? What do you love to do? Um, what kind of lifestyle are you living? Don't be ashamed of it. Don't be afraid to share it. Uh, do you have a family? Do you have grandkids like me? And what social media is for is to build relationships, to get to know other people. Social media wasn't created to sell products. That's just, that's just a fact, okay? You will hurt your business if all you're doing is sharing what you're selling and selling it. I mean, like, copy and paste post with the same photo that 10 of your colleagues used or um, just spitting out the same words with the same hashtags. It's so unoriginal and this I'm making this video because it needs to be said. There are so many people that are not branding themselves as a person and it's hurting them and it's also hurting the profession. It's making a lot of people think that that's what we do, that's how it's done, that we just throw a bunch of posts out and um, vomit all over people and that's what you're doing. So branding yourself, branding yourself. Find, write down, find, <laughs> write down Sorry about that noise. That was my blower. I have central air, so it goes on and off when it needs to come on. So anyways, um, write down the top 10 things about you and your life that are positive that you love. And then pick five. Pick five that you want to talk about on a daily basis. Here is an example. I love coffee. Coffee, coffee coffee, dream of coffee, drink coffee. I drink coffee all day long. Of course, I have water and stuff like that too, but coffee is my go-to beverage. So every morning when I post on Facebook, it's about coffee. I go on Pinterest and I find all these nice, cute, little, funny, or neat coffee photos, and I post about coffee every morning. So every morning, everybody who follows me, everybody who knows me, they know that I love coffee. And sometimes I talk about it in you know, the middle of the day. Um, not that often, but I'll pop it in sometimes. But every day, consistently, in the morning, I post about coffee. Another thing that I enjoy doing is cooking and baking. And this has nothing to do with my business. It has to do with me as a person. And um, every night when I do cook or bake, um, I do a hashtag, what's for dinner? And I share what I'm either cooking or baking or going to eat or whatever, some photos, let people guess what I'm going to be making, and then share later on what I've made. And that's just something that I like to do. 
So everybody knows every night, almost every night, 99% of the time, I'm going to post something about dinner. <laughs> They're going to get used to that. They know, they expect that from me. Eventually, doing it enough, I'm branding myself as a coffee drinker and also someone who loves to cook. So, other than that, I mean, there's other things I love to do. I have grandkids that I watch sometimes, and I have, I'm happily married, so, you know, I have my husband to talk about, and I like to crochet, so sometimes I'll pop that in. But consistency, finding those five things to be consistent about, if you want to motivate people or inspire people, if you're a very uplifting, um, powerful, positive person, and you want to reach out to people to help them. Um, you would find inspirational posts or motivational posts and share those every single day. Um, and then in between all that, you would randomly, like 30% of the time, share your business. I don't mean um, a photo of your mascara or a photo of the jewelry you sell um, sharing your personal experience be the product of the product and share what you love about the product and how it will benefit anybody that is watching that's going to see that post that's it no links no 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 um, spammy things. If you put your link in there, you will never know who has clicked it, who was interested in your in your, the products that you're offering. Um, let's say you post the link and 10 people are like, "Ooh, what's this? You know, and they click the link and they look at it and then they go, like, oh, but it's, it's $20. I really don't have $20. And then they go about their business. You'll never know. You'll never know about that person clicking on your link. But if you leave it open, leave it open for those who are interested to comment and like your post and say, hey, how much is that? Send them a private message. Build the relationship. Ask, ask them what, they, what are they looking for? What would they want out of this? I sell all natural skin care. Um, you all know that. Limelight by Alcone. And... I want to be personable with the ladies or, or gentlemen that come to me asking me questions. I don't want their business out there on Facebook for everybody to find out what kind of acne they have or what kind of problems or rosacea or eczema. You know, one-on-one -on -one is more beneficial to your business and to your clients than any other way than answering in the post itself. But to actually um, comment, let them know that you saw their comment, you know, I'm going to shoot you a PM, you know, girlfriend, or whatever, however close you are to them. Maybe you're not close at all and you can't say, hey, girlfriend, or whatever. You know, call them by their name. Hey, Sharon, I'm glad that you commented. I'm going to shoot you a message if that's okay, you know, and then shoot her a message. Um, it's all about building relationships. So, branding yourself, you. Be genuine, be positive, don't share anything negative that will hurt you too, um, and just be yourself. Be you. That's it. And, you know, if th this is one of the top mistakes that direct sellers do that just hurt them, hurt, it hurts you. And this is why I'm making the video, because I want to help. I really do. I want to help those who just don't know. They've been trained wrong or told wrong or um, maybe all you're having is sales on your mind. All you care about is sales. That's that's going to hurt you too. you got to get out of that mindset. It's more than just about the sale. You, that's another video altogether. <laughs> so I hope this helps somebody out there. I really do. And if you ever need to reach out to me, if you have any questions, I would be happy to have a little discussion, a little powwow, a little chat, whatever. It doesn't, I don't mind helping. So if you have any questions, you can pop a comment below. 
or reach out to me on Facebook and I'd be happy to chat. Have a wonderful, pucker up, beautiful day. Thanks everybody for watching. Bye.